lines relating to that topic but oh look at that what is this as we as we load on to the battlefield we can already see an ongoing invade coming from the side of team of boss and that is the team of pain and blue where of mm. course uh chooks tv also is chooks where's chooks tv chooks is on the top side yeah the chang -er, and i oh, yes. think we we have an of um action on going on to the top side as well but on to the middle lane you see uh, pain going for an early flicker thank you just to save himself i mean it's very early on not gonna be that much of a loss but you know if they do decide to take advantage if they do dive within the next couple of minutes pain might just be in trouble yeah for sure um we loaded into the game at already uh 30 seconds game time we didn't see how they really rotate but it seems like there were no successful invades to either of the team but for the meantime everyone's just basically going to be farming until they get the power spike that they need which is usually just the availability of the ultimate of their carries or maybe they are setters I like that Jawhead just instantly went back the moment this this three-man kill squad from Obos just disappeared from the map. A nice map awareness from Team, team Lupon. Sure. We did not expect anything less than that from these boys. The Grok block is going to be there, but doesn't really You're matter too so much. They're rotating towards the top, though. First Ooh. There Hot goes the first flood. Bruno, Go ahead. so many kills across the map right now. I was looking at the top lane, then the bot lane suddenly started going crazy. Still just a 6,000 to... Yeah, very, very close in terms of gold. But at least Team Lupon did get a bit of the steals from the buffs over there. So let's see. Oh, we can see another skirmish happening in here. They wanted to get Zeus, but apparently... Zeus in here will be able to make it out. There goes the wall from here from Coach Chuck. Turtle resurrecting oh, soon. Yes, they brought for this. I think it's gonna die anytime soon. And just like that, he will fall down onto the hands of Coach Chuck TV. A 1 4 2 score so far in terms of skills. A while ago, we were talking about how potentially Lupon can dominate this game, judging by their skills or maybe their background as a whole as a team because we know that um you know team lupon has been very close to each other not just as players but also as a team in terms of providing events for their own community and while team lupon what they're doing right now is to actually show that they also got what it takes to compete and go up against team lupon and they're showing just that we were not when it's just the early game but Team Obos definitely staying in step with the Lupon who are considered favorites in this tournament. The fight is gonna break up. Yolo is in the front line, not falling oh, no. just yet, but Bruno will die in the back line. Coach Shock TV now left on an island. He will fall in the hands of Chaknu as well. The man with a 4 for an A is now on a 1 and 0 1. So Lupon definitely Did gonna feel see? good about them. What yeah, happened? did you see what the team Lupon did uh, there? They just basically waited for this Claude to go online. Maybe get his first or two uh, or second item before they even go for a fight. And that what hap that's what happened. Lu now has two death and, and look how deep Zoot is actually you know, cutting the minion waves onto the top side. That was kind of duty that was in between yeah. here to and they just, leave it you a get away with it. Yeah, he's, he's not even gonna be punished for it and that must me feel good for them. But I, I have to say that I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this like new side of Chakno. Because Chakno is usually that crazy playmaker, right? Yeah. But all that part of fight is gonna break out. Lou is just gonna drop your fire picks up that one. The coach will fall with her. Fortunately, Pain wasn't there. That probably could have died together in, a, in Romeo and Juliet fashion. That would have been nice. Just for the storyline, uh, but no pain. He's actually gonna go in for for him right now. He does have flicker, so he is gonna be fine. But Yolo, he is just asserting dominance right now. But that was yeah, much and another thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
And another thing that I'm also surprised with is that it's actually Lou going for the marksman's marksman role right now for Team Boss. But before we talk about more on that, we can see Bisabal having a hard time trying to back away, getting spun, getting slowed down. He will fall down onto the hands of Team Lupon. Of course, that was Zeus and Chantel all together. And Uranus, that Zeus, just ML, will be taking down the tier one turret onto the top side. Mm. This really knows how to play around with his what like his gambles. Like earlier, right? He was just all the way in the top lane. He's always just trying to get in the thick of the action for Ubos, but Ubos can't find Turtle themselves in position to punish him. I like it. Like Zeus is just playing so calculated right now. I have a question. Oh, but hold a thought before the question. Coach Chuck will fall down onto the hands of Tapnu once more. Uh, Chuck TV throwing out those stars, of course, to uh, hopefully burst down to this. But this is a Uranus. You cannot okay, see the first down on Uranus, but as we talk about that, look at the device, look at the divine judgment committed by Fane. Sending him over under their own turret, but an Ning seems like oh, he will fall down onto the hands of that Claude Chaff to once more. Are they gonna go full skill on the fight? YOLO trying to target uh, Chuck's TV. Now they have to go back. They have to go back. So, okay, I think well, I wanted to ask now a question time for a while ago. Shut no. Still no? Catch the old just walk into it. Yeah, it's just pretty consistent. Okay. Every action here and there, BMI here and there, as well. They don't want to give us. They don't depth. want to give you the time to ask the no. question. But I think now no, is I the perfect time. The yeah, no. I, I, I per even that's how the long. <laughs> that's how but long see, we were. This waiting. is the perfect time to ask. Nothing is happening. Joma is thinking about it. Went right in, but just gonna run away. See, could have been the perfect time. Unfortunately, that's how action packed. This game between Lupon and Team Obos have been that there is no time for questions apparently. We okay, divine judgment onto Sir Zeus. Still very, very, you, you know. You, you cannot question yeah. it. You can't. Okay, the knockoff. Oh, nicely done. The knockoff is gonna be there. Pain flicks. He doesn't have his divine judgment unfortunately, so the re engage is gonna be hard. Lewis falling low. Not low enough. Coach Chuck did try for the re-engage, but there is no follow-up. They're really lacking the oomph right now, especially with Aning Ning all the way in the bot lane. Well, as you can see, Team Lupon is now just basically managing the minion weight right now onto the top as well as into the mid. They have to work on a little bit on that push. One push that the Thams need on the bot side, but I think it's gonna be an easy task later on because um, that Claude is pretty much easy to roam around in a way with that mobility that he has in his kit. But for the meantime, we saw that Divine Judgment committed on that Uranus a while ago. I think that was quite a bad move, you know? Um, it was a Uranus. That's not the target that you really want to go for. But for the meantime, because he's another fight on moving right now, everyone's just basically going in. And in here, I don't think he's gonna make it out. He will fall down, or rather, she will fall down onto the hands of Chantel. And Chantel having that 305 and Yolo on 1084 so far, I think they needed to be shut down. Uh, actually, so is it. Chapu with a 4044. Yeah, and on, on the flip side, you have Lu with the Bounty Hunter onto the, onto the Bruno with a 04 and 2. That is just mm. the tell right now oh, of the game. It was, can't do nothing is going their way very unfortunately and again please no divine judgment on Zeus once more because it's gonna look bad I mean this, there's no way to properly set up against our Uranus and look at that getting poked down are the members of team Obos right now they're gonna be losing a tank Doma though will fall down as well Coach oh, will have a hard time in sustaining that damage to death on the side of Team Obos. They have a Spitzen even taking down the tier 2 and the tier 3 turret on the bot side part of the map. Basically, it was just Chaknu pre-farming not just on Team Lupon's very own jungle side, but also on Team Obos's jungle camp 
as well. There's just so much space created for this Chuck new Farley. Yeah, Chuck is just having the time of his life, and I'm trying to think of a way that Ubos can try and come back to this. But all I can think right now is because basically he just. To ask a while ago. <laughs> okay, there we go. It finally comes back full circle after 10 minutes. <laughs> All is right oh, in the world. Was, no, that, was, that wasn't 10 minutes. I think that was just like oh, maybe, I don't know, 3 or 5 so. minutes. But regardless, <laughs> that's the question to our <laughs> audience as well. How do you think Team Obos will potentially make a comeback? We got in here a new thing, a Coach Chuck TV, Chooks TV, Pain, and a Lou. How can they make a comeback? Oh, but there goes a setup. It's coming from Yolo. That was a nice setup. They were blittering in and they're sending Coach Chuck outside of the turret. But, but Coach Chuck is like one card stand to target. Definitely, they won't be able to burst him down. But at least that was some space created for, again, Chuck Noob to farm and get more golds for themselves. And another team fight is about to happen in here. Alu going so low. Oh, this is so more time for our Bruno to make a comeback. Two members left for Team Obos. But that team to put in here. We're gonna take your inhibitor turret for the meantime here in the middle lane. We won't be able to make a comeback. No, there's some beautiful coming from Lou. A setup is coming for Blaine. Calling uh, Lou as well. But there goes the sun. And I think they'll get a trick. But still, instead, but it's still, it is a one for one trade as you TV get one kill against Team Lupon. And look at that. Chantel making some really good plays, even though playing as a support, getting, getting some kills for her team. Yeah, five kills onto Chantel with the Valer playing very, very well. Like, let's go, Chantel. Showing is that she can play, she can run with the best of them. Yeah, but just gotta be very careful with overextension. Gaining vision here and there. Here goes the wall. You're just gonna wait. In the end, it's gonna go into the hands of Takno. A divine judgment. Oh, catches drama here. The damage from the blazing duet is ridiculous. My goodness, Jacknu just ripped apart the backline. Unfortunately, the follow-up wasn't there. Everyone was so low, but no one could get as as deep as that Claude, unfortunately. Okay, do you remember? Oh, there goes the setup once more coming from the Atlas. Took TV and the rest of the member Kane going so low as well. And I mean, can't do anything. The Lord's still all alive. Now hitting the base of... But look at that fight still out going onto the top side. In time, they could have potentially have ended Legendary. the game. Kane will be falling down onto the hands of Chaknu. Said Luporin here, we want more blood. We want more blood before we even end the game. And looks like we have to wait for another team fight or a setup to happen before we can see a ooh, blazing duet going in and out. Legendary for Chakno 907, even going as deep inside the base, not sending the members of Team Opus to go for a defense. And now the minions will be putting on 